turn it on right now. Amen. Uh -huh. Praise God. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And welcome everybody. Bienvenidos. Yes. To New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. So if you don't have a church, I keep saying this, but this could be your church. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Church, Hallelujah. this is New Beginnings Church, the church you can call home. Amen. Yes. So praise the Lord. Prepare yes. yourselves to receive. I tell you this all the time on a daily basis when you meet with him. Prepare yourselves to receive from him. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't just go in there and unload and run. <laughs> but just spend time with him. You know, hey, when you open your eyes, that's the first miracle right oh, there. Yes. Yes. You know, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. All those of you that join us by audio video. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio o video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Y tiene algo. He always has something for you. Yes. All you need to do is prepare yourselves to receive it. Yes. Amen. Because he wants to give it out. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He wants to bless you. Yes. Amen. And receive your blessings. Yes. Woo, I'm excited. Thank you, Lord. Lord has given me a great message, and uh, maybe I need to say this once in a while, but uh, I'm just a messenger. Amen. <laughs> so don't take it out on me. Amen. Praise you God. prepare yourselves before you come to receive what God has Amen. for you, and he has great things for you. Amen. He has great things, great plans for you. None yes. of them include defeat. Amen. So I'm excited. Grab your swords, soldier of God. Amen. Let's say it like you mean it. Amen. Amen. Come on, church. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I'm bold and convinced. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. And you know, the battlefield of the mind, we need to be ready on a daily basis. Amen. Because you need to renew that mind. Often, Amen. all the time, Amen. Oh, yeah. Because the enemy is going to attack, oh, yeah. and he's going to use the world, uh -huh. people, anything to try to distract you, yeah. Amen, and get you off course. So, if you're writing, you can write this down. Your giants are defeated. If you don't know that by yeah. now, I want you to know your giants that you face daily. Uh -huh are defeated. Yes, Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. And Jesus has already defeated these giants. Amen. Yes. <laughs> and you have the covenant with him. And we're going to find out, you know, if you don't know by now, or if you just in the process of learning, never see yourself a failure, but yes, see yourself right. a learner. And you're always learning things. Weapons he has given us. Amen. And of course, his name is one. Uh, the name of Jesus is one and uh, the blood of God, uh, the blood is another. Amen. So, amen. you have the covenant with Jesus, amen? Yes. So, this is what I'm going to ask you. Whose report are you going to believe? Uh -huh. Amen. You need to have the word in you and get the word in you, and that faith is going to be built up, and that yes. fear has to go. Yes. Amen? So, what's the cure for fear? Uh -huh. Faith. Fill yourself with the word, amen? Let it overflow yes. from you. Amen? I want to read to you uh, what I called a scripture break. Mm -hmm. For a, a scripture nugget, and it's talking about your giants are defeated. Mm. Don't let your giants of cares, worries, anxieties, fears, sickness, troubles, or lack defeat you. Defeating them doesn't depend on your abilities. Jesus has already defeated them. Yeah. You fight a spiritual battle daily, and God has given the church spiritual weapons to use. One weapon is the blood covenant Jesus bought for you. Yeah. Don't let your any uncircumcised giant circumstances take your victory yeah. away from you. Believe it, receive it, act on it. You have the right. You have the covenant with him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. That blesses yeah. me right there. You know? Yeah. Hey Amen. Yeah. Your giants are defeated. Oh, but you don't understand, Pastor. Well, you need to get in the word and find out. Yeah. Those giants can come down, man. Yeah. Just like we're going to be talking about David taking his giant down. Right. So can we. Amen? Amen. So whose report will you believe? Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm going to believe what the word of God says is the truth that sets you free. Mm -hmm. It's the word of God that sets you free. Mm -hmm. And it works for all of us. Mm -hmm. If you're a believer, 
you need to get in the Word of God and read it and get it in you, amen, so it can become you and speak it out, amen. Speak it out over those things that are coming against you, amen. So I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Satan and the world or people <laughs> will give you negative reports, uh -huh. amen. Bad reports, negative reports. Oh, yeah. God and us as believers, we should give out good reports. Amen. Positive reports. We have the good news in us. So we need to share that good news. Amen. You're yes. a blessing going somewhere to happen. Yeah. Set somebody free. Speak something good to somebody. Amen. Whew. You could do all things through Christ. All Praise things. God. Amen. <laughs> what are your giants? You know your giants will come at you daily. Well, before I get too far away, if you have your swords with you, if you have your Bibles with you, let's go to uh, Proverbs. And we're familiar with this scripture all the time. But if you go to Proverbs 18, uh, 21, mm -hmm, my Bible says this, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Uh -huh. And they, us, or yeah. whoever speaks it, yeah. or love it, it shall eat the fruit thereof. Yeah. Amen. The Amplified says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they who indulge in it shall eat the fruit of it, for death or life. Amen? So, you got to have a positive report. You don't want to go around speaking negative reports, because you're gonna, it's going to come right back at you. Amen? And from there, let's go to Matthew chapter 12 and verse 37. Matthew 12, 37. And it says, mine is in red, so I know Jesus is speaking here. <laughs> For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. That's King James. Amen. The Amplified says, For by your own words you will be justified and acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned and sentenced. Mm -hmm. Amen. So words are powerful. Amen. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Or you can say death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Mm -hmm. Amen. The words you say. And <laughs> the enemy, the word, not only the, the, the you, but the enemy knows and he follows and see what's coming out of you. Uh -huh. Amen. He knows because as you speak, if you give a negative report, he, you're opening the door for the enemy to come. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's going to come in because you open the door for him. So are they going to come daily? So guess what? Take control or they will. Yeah. If you don't take control, they will take control. Mm -hmm. They will come to fight. The enemy says, the, the Bible says, John 10, 10, that Satan comes to steal, kill, and yeah. destroy. Yeah. Amen. So they are ready. Amen. They come ready. And guess what? They send their best. Mm -hmm. And as you mature in the things of God, you grow. So guess what? The higher you go, mm. the higher level, the higher devils. Mm. Amen? They get stronger and stronger as you mature in the things of God. Amen? Amen. <laughs> so just want you to know that. Part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. Mm. Devil's going to come at you all the time mm. prepared. We need to be prepared. We're God's army. You know? Yes. <laughs> I was military for a long time, retired military, but guess what? We got to stay battle ready. Mm -hmm. And we fight a spiritual battle daily. Yes, we do. And we got to, we're in God's army. And we need to be ready all the time. All Amen. The time. Praise mm -hmm. God. They will try to intimidate you. Mm -hmm. They bring fear, fright. They bring frightened, well, they're frightened, scared, threatened, and terrorize you. They rarely come alone. <laughs> uh, they rarely come alone. Yeah. Well, I want to read you uh, this story from uh, from the uh, NIV, and uh, you can turn to uh, Mark chapter five. Everybody knows this, but I want to read it to you from this. Man, this is a big Bible here, so I need to set it down here. <laughs> Praise God. Says they really come along. Mm. All right, you can follow along. Where are you? Uh, Mark chapter five, mm. and verse one. Okay? okay. They went across the lake to the region of the Gadarenes. Mm -hmm. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man 
with an evil spirit came from the tombs to meet him. No. This man lived in the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with, with a chain, for he had often been chained hand and foot. But he tore the chains apart and broke the irons from his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Wow. Night and day among the tombs on the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with stones. <laughs> when he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell to his feet, fell on his knees in front of Jesus, in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice. Listen, <laughs> he shouted from the top of his voice. Ooh, hallelujah. What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? You're talking about a man mm -hmm. that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's full of devils. And he comes and kneels in front of Jesus. And he already knows and addresses him in his knees and says, <laughs> from the top of his voice, he says, um, What do you want with me, mm -hmm. Jesus, Son of the Most High God? Yeah. <laughs> Swear to God that you won't torture me. Mm -hmm. For Jesus had said to him, Come out of this man, your evil spirit. That's all he said. Yeah. <laughs> he took authority. Immediately yeah. he recognized there's an evil spirit. Yes. Amen. Then Jesus said to him, What is your name? He says, My, my name is Legion. He replied, mm -hmm. For we are many. Mm -hmm. And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. Mm. Yeah. A large herd of pigs were feeding on a hill, uh, nearby hill, hillside. Then the demons, that's plural, mm. begged Jesus, send us among the pigs. Allow us to uh, go into them. Mm. And then, so he's telling us. He gave them permission. And the evil spirits came out and went into the pigs, and the herd of about 2,000 number rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned. Oh boy. Amen. And you know, they go and tell the story, people that are watching. But this man came to Jesus, yeah. and he got on his knees and addressed Jesus and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, the Son of the Most High God? Yes. Amen. So guess what? When you're full of God and you're full of the word, yes. demons see you. So oh, submit yeah. yourself to God, resist the devil, he will flee. He ain't got nothing to do with you. He right. says, don't send us out of this region. Won't you send us into those pigs? Mm -hmm. He didn't say how many was there, but he says there was about 2,000 mm -hmm. pigs there. And they all got filled and they ran off and drowned. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God, huh? The pigs didn't eat one. <laughs> no, the pigs didn't eat one. They went crazy. They ran up over the over the hillside there. Woo! So they're ready to come along, recognize them. Listen, <laughs> the devil doesn't come in a red suit with horns and a pitchfork. How many of you remember the little hot stuff, the little yeah. cartoon character <laughs> in the comic books? Uh -huh. Well, that's not Satan. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Just want you to know that. Just want to throw that at you. Sometimes they come in form of people. Oh, boy. Sometimes they come in form of family, uh -huh. friends, co-workers, uh -huh. uh, bad companies, bad reports, yeah. bad habits. Oh, <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we need to, you need, what is it? Let me read this. Uh, bad reports, bad habits. Take a stand. Use his name. Use oh, his boy. word. Use yeah. his blood. Use your authority. Yes. God has given us authority. authority. We need to yes. use that authority. You don't have to say, well, we need to go get pastor. We need to get brother high, high and mighty to come and pray <laughs> over the situation or sister so-and-so. You know, you have that authority. Amen. But you need to get the word in you yes. so that you can know whose you are yes. and who's backing you. Amen. When you get when you get strong in the word, guess what? Ain't no devil mm -hmm. in hell going to want to have no part of you. And right. you can speak the word and it says, submit yourself to God, uh -huh. resist the devil, yeah. and he's going to go. He's going to flee. He's got to. Yeah. This man came. He wasn't in his right mind, but when he saw Jesus, he recognized Jesus, and he came and got on his knees yes. and begged with a loud voice, yes. begged Jesus. 
not to send them out of those uh, out of the area. That's right. Hey, guess guess what? <laughs> when they see you coming, they recognize. Mm -hmm. They may not recognize you, but they recognize mm -hmm. the God in you. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise I'm God. shaking, brothers. Because <laughs> Jesus told us that as long as we're in this world, we will continue to face these giants. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, I've got John 16:33, and you can follow along. John 16:33 says, these things I have spoken to you, that in me no. you may have peace. Yes. In this world you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yes. Amen. John 16, 33. And I'm going to read it to you from the Expanded Bible. It says, I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me. He is the Prince of Peace. Yes. And you can have peace in him. Amen. In this world you will have troubles, Bad reports, problems, persecutions, sufferings. Yeah. But be brave. Yeah. Take courage. Have heart. I have defeated. I have victory. Conquered. Overcome the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. When, when you talk about a word, you're talking about people. And the word here, overcome, it uh, is conquer, defeat, beat, triumph over, triumph over. Or rise above. Yes. Amen. So praise Amen. God. Woo, hallelujah. And guess what? Yeah. We're more than the overcomers. We, yes. we, we're conquerors. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Thank you, Lord. Woo. So be of courage. As a child of God, uh -huh. you can do all things through all Christ. Things. Amen. Yeah. All things through hallelujah. Christ. <laughs> Live a successful life even in the midst of facing your giants. Yes. Amen. The giants of whatever uh, cares, worries, trouble, problems, bad reports, bad habits, whatever. Everyone's are different. Yeah. Okay. Whatever your situation is, whatever your 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 giant is, mm -hmm. is all of ours are different. Okay. Yes. We may face different giants. Amen. But you are greater. Amen. Amen. Hebrews three thirteen says this. But encourage each other every day while you yes. still have something called the day. Oh, yeah. Help each other so that none of you will be fooled by sin and become too hard to change. That's Amen. Good. And you can find that in Hebrews 3.13. Amen. I read it from the easy to read version. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The day. So you could be a blessing for somebody. Mm -hmm. Go somewhere to happen. You have yes. the good news in you. Yes. You know, when you get the word of God in you, that's the good news. Yes. You know, the world is full of bad news. Oh, yeah. But, but you're bringing the good news. Amen. You're bringing light yes. wherever you go. That's this it. world is dark, yes. but you are the light. Yes. Amen. You're his light yes. in this world. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Let me see what the, what the Amplified says on that one. Uh, that was Hebrews. Hebrews 313? Uh, yes. Hebrews 3, chapter 3 and verse... 13. 3.13. King James says, but exhort one another daily yes. while it is called today, uh -huh. as any of you be uh, hardened though the deceitfulness of sin. Amen. Through the deceitfulness. Through the deceitfulness of sin. Amen. Okay, so praise God. So we are to encourage one another. Yes. Amen. So be an encouragement. Don't be a problem. Yeah. You know, hallelujah. And God wants to use every one of you, uh, every one of us. Amen. Yes. We just, we just don't, you know, you know, if you look at all your Bible heroes, none of them were perfect. That's right. He's not looking for perfect people. That's He's looking right. for available people. Yes. Amen. And you can make yourself available. Oh, yeah. Amen. And of course, we know James 4, 7 says, Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, he yes. will flee from you. Amen. So you bug in you? You know how to get rid of him? Submit yourself yeah. to God. Yes, yes. <laughs> get the word. Yeah. Study the word. Spend yes, time with yes. him, you know? Yeah. And the enemy, you, when you submit to him, the enemy's got to go. He's yes. got to flee. I take authority yes. over you, you know? <laughs> he used to have you on the run. Now you put him on the run. Uh -huh. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. I'm going to give you First Peter. You can go to First Peter uh, 5, 7. We're going to read it. I'm going to give it to you in a, in a couple of versions. But first, Peter. Now we're taking this slow. We're in no rush. Praise 
Uh, those of you that are following, First uh, Peter five seven. Let's read verse six. I like verse six too. It says, "Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time." Remember, it's God's timing, not our timing. Sometimes we want to push ourselves, promote ourselves, without God's timing. Amen. But verse 7 says, casting all your care upon him. You yeah. notice he says, casting all your care. I'm casting all myself, all my care on you, Lord. Because why? Because he cares for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And uh, uh, the Amplified says, casting the whole, the whole of your care, mm -hmm. all your anxieties, all your worries, <laughs> all your concerns, once and for all on him. For he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Amen. And uh, Psalms uh, 55, 22 says, cast all your burdens on him. Amen. Amen. But um, now I'm going to read it to you from the uh, New Living Translation. It says, give it all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. He cares about you. <laughs> uh -huh. You don't think he cares about you? He sacrificed his son. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came. And he gave himself yeah. to be sacrificed. Amen. Yeah. So now we can cast all those cares, yeah. all of those, all the care of, of our being on him because he cares for us. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we sang this a few minutes ago, but uh, Isaiah 40 and 31 says, But they, us yeah. that wait upon the Lord, uh -huh. shall renew their strength. Yes. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Uh -huh. You know when the greater one is in you, when you spend time with him, <laughs> you're not going to worry about these things. That's right. Amen. We're going to have our strength and our strength renewed as eagles. Yeah. Amen. And we're going to walk. Yes. And we, 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 we're going to run and not be weary and we're going right. to walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Everyone is different and we, have, we all face giants daily. Stand up, face your giants by the same tactic as God gave David. Yeah. David taught us how to face his giants. Mm -hmm. You know how you do that? <laughs> you stay yeah. right away. Yeah. Amen. Don't wait to prepare when you see the problem. Mm -hmm. You stay filled mm -hmm. before the problem comes. <laughs> Amen. You stay right away. We fight a spiritual battle daily. Mm -hmm. You cannot defeat a spiritual battle in the flesh. Right. You got to be in the word and use the word of God to defeat a spiritual battle. Because a spiritual battle is going to happen. Amen. So we don't fight flesh and blood. We fight principalities. That's right. Amen. Demons, mm -hmm. rules of darkness in this world. Amen. Yeah. So say goodbye to defeat and start a victorious life in God. Yes. Amen. You can make this change. Yes. You're making this change yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, hallelujah. Know the weapons that God has prepared for us. And the victory is yours. Mm -hmm. The battlefield is called life. Mm -hmm. And be confident of God's presence. Yeah. Know what the word of God says. He says he, he's always with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Right. Well, I feel all alone. Well, you know what? Yeah. Maybe it's time for you to spend some time with him. Yeah. Because he wants to spend time with you. He said he's knocking, but nobody's answering. Uh -huh. So we need to spend time with him mm -hmm. so that we can feel like we're not at that we're not doing this alone. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's with you. Greater is he that's in you Amen. than he that is in the world. Yes. Amen. So whatever the world brings, guess what? God is with you. Yes. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Right. Know who you are in him mm -hmm. and know whose you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So you cut off your enemy's head as David did <laughs> and overcome totally. <laughs> Amen. Whatever the enemy tries to bring on uh -huh. you. Don't say, why me, Lord? But say, send me, Lord. Yes. I'm ready. I'm battle ready. I'm battle tested. That's what David says, you know. He fought the lion. He fought the bear. Yeah. <laughs> and when he, as soon as he got, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Okay. But as soon as he got to the, the battlefield <laughs> and he saw the giant, he, t he, he started talking about, who is this uncircumcised fellow? That's it. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody else was talking the problem. Uh -huh. He's talking the answer. Yes. I yes. said, hey, we can defeat this thing. Yes, we can. Amen. Yes. So 
You know, everybody's been putting it down, <laughs> magnifying the problem, and nobody's been magnifying God until you come. Uh -huh. Now we're going to magnify God. Uh -huh. Hey, wait a minute. My God is bigger than yeah. anything you may be facing. That's right. <laughs> God is not looking for perfect people. Mm -hmm. He's looking for available people. Amen. People that will step out in faith All right. like David did mm -hmm. in the story of David and Goliath. David defeated the giants, so can we. Mm -hmm. <laughs> David protected his flock from lions and bears, mm -hmm. so can we. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> We can do, the Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. I'm just going to give you a quick thing on uh, on this. Whose report are you going to believe? In uh, Numbers 13, it talks about God told Moses, send men to scout the country of Canaan. Since I'm giving, I've given this to the people of Israel. Send one from every ancestral tribe. Each one has been tried and true leader in the tribe. Amen. So guess what? He says 12. Yeah. And 10 came back with negative reports. Yeah. Two came back with positive reports. That's right. So mm -hmm. the one with a negative report says, you know what? Hey, we was among a land of giants. Uh -huh. And they looked down at us like grasshoppers. Yeah. When you go out into your uh into your world, what do you see? Do you see you see giant problems? Uh. Well, you say, wait a minute, you know, hey, we can overcome these things. Mm -hmm. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Yeah. Caleb and, J and Jacob says, hey, this is no problem for us. Uh -huh. <laughs> they knew their God. Yeah. You know your God. You know your word mm -hmm. is in you. Mm -hmm. And you know that you can overcome anything. And we're magnifying God and not the problem. Uh -huh. Amen. So 10 gave negative reports. 2 gave positive reports. You see yourself as a grasshopper, or you see yourself as a giant killer, mm. <laughs> going into the world prepared yeah. to kill anything, any situation that's coming against you. Amen. Yes. Don't be afraid of those people. He says, "Why? We have what it takes. The greater one is with us." Amen. Whatever situation is coming against uh -huh. you, we can do it. Amen. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> Everybody saw the huge problems. Uh -huh. Everybody saw the huge giants. He says, oh, we're just like grasshoppers. We're yeah. nobodies. But yeah. you are somebody. Because yeah. the greater one is with you. That's right. Amen. You are somebody. Mm -hmm. So praise God. So don't be afraid. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of mm -hmm. power, of love, and of a sound mind. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. The people around you, what kind of report do they have? Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> you gather around people, you hear people. And, 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 and they're saying bad things. Yeah. You know, you go over there and join them and say, hey, I can top this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and throw your negative report. Mm -hmm. Well, let's not do that, you know. Mm -hmm. Speak the positive report. Amen. Bring the good news when there's bad news going around. Amen. Yes. So what about you? Is it positive or negative? Mm -hmm. Remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens yeah. us. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. Here's another story of a giant problem. The walls of Jericho. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Amen. The Lord told Joshua. Mm -hmm. says, I have delivered Jericho into your hands along with kings and the fighting men. Mm -hmm. So he says, march around the city with armed men. Mm -hmm. Do this for six days. Mm -hmm. Have seven priests carry uh, trumpets of ram horns in front of the, the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city se uh, seven times with priests blowing their trumpets. Mm -hmm. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout. Mm -hmm. Then the walls will collapse mm -hmm. and the army will go in, straight in. Mm -hmm. Amen. They walked over the walls. Mm -hmm. You know what seemed impossible for men? was possible through God. See yes. yourself. That's the kind of God we serve. Yes, All things are possible with Amen. him. <laughs> you know where it says impossible? Mm -hmm. Now it becomes, if you break those up, it says, I am possible. Yes. It is possible with him. Amen. 
all things are possible. Yeah. So he told them what to do. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, Joshua being the great general, he's probably thinking he's, you want to send a praise team ahead mm. <laughs> before the armies? Yeah. <laughs> I say, I've never heard that plan before, but you know what? God said it, so just yeah. do what God says. Yes. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> and it worked. Yeah. <laughs> so guess what? Hey, thank God for our praise team. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> the Hebrew children, they wanted the Hebrew children to change. And they said, no, we changed not. Mm. So they threw them in the fire. And uh, real soon, the fire was so hot, those that were around it got burned. Mm -hmm. And they looked in there and they says, wait a minute, we, we threw three Hebrew children in there. We threw two, three in there, and now I see four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so guess what? Wherever you go, you're not by yourself. God That's is with it. you. Amen. Amen. You say, whoa, you're not by yourself. I read a story somewhere here recently. Where these guys, this this uh, this girl was going down the alleyway, and there were some guys uh, around, and they was coming and attacking and raping and all this, and the girl walked right through, and nothing happened. Mm. So they asked the guys, they said, "Why didn't you attack her like you attacked the rest of them?" Mm. <laughs> he said, "You didn't see the two big guys on the side of her. Mm. There was it was two huge guys on mm -hmm. either side of this girl. Mm -hmm. so we, we may be crazy, but we ain't dumb. You know? <laughs> we're, we're dumb, but not crazy. Whichever one fits. Mm -hmm. Still, they saw yeah. that she was protected. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is protecting you. Yes. Amen. Wherever you go, God yes. is with you wherever you go. Oh, Don't see yourself. When you see yourself by yourself, you're walking in fear mm -hmm. and not faith. You got to step out in faith and know God is with you. Amen. He's going to be with you. He's going to help you no matter what. Yes. Amen. So guess what? The three Hebrew children wouldn't change. Just like mm -hmm. David, I mean, uh, Daniel in the, in the lion's den. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to change. I'm going to pray to my God. Mm -hmm. And he got thrown in the lion's den knowing that God is going to help him. God is going to save him. Hallelujah. Yeah. We read this uh, story before, but Elijah... And his servant. And the servant went out and he looks around and he sees horses and chariots all over the place. Mm. Oh man, he goes inside and says, Master, <laughs> what are we going to do? There's chariots all around us. He says, Don't fear. Those who are with us are more than those, excuse me, don't fear. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Uh -huh. See, he's looking into the physical world. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's just seeing with his physical eyes. Yeah. But then Elijah prayed, mm -hmm. and his spiritual eyes were open. Yes. And he went back, and he uh -huh. saw, and it says, And Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that you may see. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he uh -huh. saw, and behold, the mountains was full of horses and chariots <laughs> of fire all around. <laughs> Amen. And when the Ephesians, uh, Syrians, excuse me, when the Syrians yeah. came down to him, Elijah prayed, and the Lord says, Strike these people, I pray, with blindness. And he struck them, and the blindness occurred. Mm. Amen. So, God was there. Yes, God is with you. God is with you no matter where you go. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is with you. So don't see yourself by yourself. That's right. David, Joshua, Caleb, mm -hmm. we should know. They're facing the giants. They, God is with you. Yes. They knew God would be with them. Amen. Uh -huh. We need to do the same thing. Yes. See ourselves the way yes. they saw themselves. Amen. That God is going to be there for you. Right. He is our answer. Yes. And we're not going to struggle. Amen. That's right. When you face your giants, know that you have the power to face them. There will be uh -huh. no hiding. No running away, no quitting, yes. no fear, no drugs, no alcohol can hide you from your giants. Right. Amen. Amen. Know that God is going to be with you. Ooh, yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know, but this is, uh, we're, we're kind of, somebody really needs this. Amen. Know your God by having a relationship with him. Yes. Face them and stand against them. Yeah. Your giants like David did. The odds are against you, but 
Greater is he that's in you than he yes. that's in the world. First John 4.4. 4. Yeah. David knew he had already been tested by the bear and the lion. And the, lion. <laughs> the world brings giant problems, but no problem is bigger than our God. That's right. Amen. <laughs> the song we sing says he's God on the mountain uh -huh. and he's God in the valley. Mm -hmm. Amen. He doesn't change. He's still God. Still Amen. God. He's still God. We just need to be there. Amen. Yeah. We know we need to know this. And we need to mag continue to magnify him. Yes. You know, David slung that rock or the word like a missile into the giant. Mm -hmm. So your Goliath, your problem may be a tower above everything but God. Mm -hmm. God is bigger than any problem you might have. Yes. Right. <laughs> the challenge of the day says, <laughs> this day I defile the ranks of Israel. Give me a man and let him fight. Let's fight. This is what the Goliath said. <laughs> Who will go mano a mano conmigo? Send him. Send your best man. <laughs> and then he laughed because they sent a boy. Uh -huh. And while he's laughing, yeah. says his helmet shifted just right for him to sling the rock like a missile right into his forehead. Oh God! And he fell. <laughs> Whatever problem is coming against you, oh, yeah. the word of God can bring it down. Yes, yes. What, what did David? Have against what odds did David have against the giants? The giant doesn't carry sword, shield, or wears armor. Mm -hmm. Our Goliath comes to us as unemployment, <laughs> abandonment, abuse, alcohol, right. bad companies, right. deaths, depression, pornography, setbacks, failures, <laughs> or what? Coronavirus. Coronaviruses. <laughs> you know, oh, virus. Oh, God. <laughs> All these things, you know, yeah. whatever. whatever they think they come up with something new. Yeah. God already has the answer. Mm -hmm. He's already yes. saying, Jesus, Jesus said, by Jesus' stripes, you are healed. healed. You need to yeah. know the truth so you can be, deli be delivered from all these things. That's right. Amen. So you need to know this. Mm -hmm. So this is the giants that you face. Yes. The coronavirus, yes. unemployment, abandonment, uh -huh. abuse, alcohol, bad mm -hmm. companies, death, depression, yeah. setbacks. Pornographies oh and failures. Mm -hmm. Your giant doesn't parade up and down the hills. He crashes through your office, oh. your bedrooms, your classrooms. He brings bills you can't pay, grades oh you can't God. make, <laughs> oh people you can't please, mm -hmm. alcohol you can't resist, pornography oh you can't refuse, oh a God. career you can't escape, uh -uh. and a past you can't shake off. Right. And a future that you can't face. Huh. When you see these things, you're walking in fear and not in faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You need a relationship with your God and you need to have the word in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Do you Praise see God. and hear from God during your day? You got to feed on the word. Yes. Since we, the Bible says we're tri-being. Yes. We're a spirit. We have a soul, mind, will, and emotion. Yes. And we have a physical body. Yes. Amen. And we are to feed the spirit, the word of God. Uh -huh. We re renew our minds with the word of God. Okay. And we're to crucify this flesh. Oh, boy. We're to speak faith-filled words. Watch uh -huh. your words and watch your actions. Yeah. And people will see you all the time. And you're being a witness because we're imitators of Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they may not say anything unless you follow. And then they'll come to you and say, I thought you was a Christian. Mm. Why are you saying this? Mm -hmm. I thought you was a Christian. Why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. hmm? They'll come and remind you. Oh, yeah. That's all right. We're not perfect. Huh. Have relationship with him. Speak to him. Speak about him. Speak to your giants, the word of God. Magnify your God and not your problems. Amen. Amen. We tend to do that a lot. Mm. You know, we tend to look down and see the bad in people instead of seeing the good. Yeah. For God so loved the world, uh -huh. he loved people. Amen. Oh, we need yeah. to do the same thing if we're going to imitate him. Yeah. Be positive. David shows up talking about God. Jesse, his father, sends him, says, I want you to bring lunch to your brothers. Mm. David's first discussion was on the Lord, not about the giant. Who is this uncircumcised fellow see? that defiles the armies of the living God. Jesse sent David to bring him lunch. 
King Saul nor the soldiers mentioned nothing about God. Mm. All the talk was about the battle. Yeah. All the talk was about the problem, mm. the odds, the big giant, the big problem. David made this godly announcement. <laughs> Says the Lord who delivered me from the paws of the lion and from the paws of the bear will deliver me from the hands of this Philistine giant. Mm. We need to know that what God did for them he can do for us. Yes. Amen. He's still God. Amen. Yes, and he, we can do all things through all him. Things. No one yeah. else discussed God except David. Huh. David discussed these things about God. Only you may discuss or bring up God in your family, in your job, in your situation. Don't be ashamed. Mm. Amen. Amen. Be God focused and not giant focused. Yes. Be God focused and not problem focused. Yeah. Amen. Just focus on him. Says, I can do all things through Christ. Amen. Amen. Oh Don't tell Amen. your God about how big your problem is, but tell your problem how big your God is. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody yes, needed God. that. <laughs> all eyes were on the giant, but David's. David's battle cry should be ours as well. Come, you come to me with a sword and a spear uh -huh. and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name yes. of the Lord of hosts, of God, of the armies of Israel. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> I'm coming to you in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. You're coming down. Amen. Amen. Whatever that wall of happens to be, yeah. you know that you can go before God mm -hmm. and bring that wall down. Mm -hmm. Amen. So whatever wall's holding you, whatever is uh, distracting you, mm -hmm. that wall needs to come down. Amen. But you can speak to it. Amen. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. world. Amen. If you never accepted Christ, now is the time. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we're just starting a new year. We start a new day. Every day is a day of yes. new beginnings. All you have to do is say, Lord, if I sin against you, I repent. Mm -hmm. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he'll come and be your Lord and Savior. Amen. Yeah. He'll never push you away. We push ourselves away and we walk away. Mm -hmm. But he's always there for you. Yes. Amen. Get yourself into a church where you can start learning the word of God. We'll get you a Bible and start reading about God. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Amen. David sees the armies of God and because he does, David hurries and he runs towards the army to meet Amen. this giant Philistine. He ran to this giant. Mm -hmm. And you know we can run to whatever problems are facing us. And we could speak to it and yes. knock it down. Thank just like Lord. David did. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, praise God. Do you run to meet your giants? Or do you run from them? <laughs> the battle belongs to the Lord. David's brother covered their eyes in fear and embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Saul... He just saw this young David raised to his death. That's what they saw. Yeah. See, David's running to his death. He's just a young boy. David, uh, Saul even tried to put his armor on him. Mm -hmm. It won't fit. Just be yourself. Mm -hmm. Just be who God made you to be. Yes. You're an original yes. made by God. You're not a copy of anything. Mm -hmm. So just be yourself. Yeah. And the Bible says you can do all things all through things. Christ. <laughs> yes. Yes. So once again, Goliath, <laughs> he throw back his head in laughter. Just enough to shift that helmet and expose his forehead. Mm -hmm. David shot his target. He, he, he seized the moment and he shot his best shot. Mm -hmm. and, and that stone torpedo running in his forehead. Mm -hmm. Goliath's eyes crossed and legs buckled. <laughs> he crumbles to his ground and dies. Mm -hmm. David runs, he yanks his sword, and he cuts his head off. So whatever giants you're facing, yes. you can take that sword Amen. of God, the word of God, and just cut, it, cut his head off. Yes. Amen. We can do the same things. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So we're not going to try to finish all this today. Glory Amen. Glory. We're going to stop there. Hallelujah. Thank you, <laughs> David, Lord. David knew how to get ahead of his giants. Yeah. <laughs> we need to know how to get ahead of our giants. Yes. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll close there and yes. uh, and we'll pick it, we'll pick it up there and uh, finish this.
because we need this on a daily basis. Amen. 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 You know, we have giants yes. that we face. This this world of life, we have storms of life. We have giants of life that we walk into mm -hmm. on a daily basis. We need to know. Greater is he that is in us than yes. he that's in the world. Amen. Yeah. So whatever you're facing right now, know that God is with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. And know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Know that greater, uh, who's know who's backing you yes. and whose you are. Uh -huh. So nothing is going to hold you back. I'm going right. to press on. I'm going to yeah. press on just like David did. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so so first, uh, we'll stop right there okay. and we'll pick it up here. So we've been talking about your giants are defeated. Yeah. We just need to know this. Yeah. And as you get into the word, you're going to find out what the word says. Uh -huh. So we don't have to speak the problem anymore. We can just speak to the problem, uh -huh. the word of God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Amen.